welcome back to the channel. What, Milky? So today I thought I would talk about ocean uncles with your monkey. No, not that, although it's a great topic in my opinion. <laughs> Why other women are so offended by seeing women breastfeed in public. Um, I live in a very liberal part of the world. Um, but still, you get a lot of negativity about breastfeeding. Um, I will say the majority of it is online bullying. There's not very much in person. But you do get that, and you do get weird looks, and you do get weird statements. Um, and I've even had that from nurses. And then oh. doctors will come in and go like, oh, why were they giving you a hard time? That's great, keep breastfeeding, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just being poorly informed that's the issue, right? Be gentle, please. Be gentle. <laughs> at heart of a lot of these things. So, from my experience, a lot of women have been shamed in breastfeeding themselves. And there's a big tradition with women of like, passing on the baton of whatever they've suffered to the next woman. And it's something we all suffer from doing. If we've been body shamed, if we have been breastfeeding shamed, mommy shamed, lifestyle shamed, um, we like to pass that shame on, right? So that it's not alone. And that's our natural sharing talent as women, but it's a very negative part of that. And so I see a lot of that. I see a lot of women that have been not supported by their spouses and families and that have been shamed and so they're going to pass that along. And I see that as a big issue. Um, another thing I see is women that are brought up to believe that their bodies are just for men. Don't twiddle my love, that hurts. Um, just for men and that Motherhood even itself is giving children to your spouse, to your, the man, right? It's all about providing for the man. And so anything that would be men's, and men have decided breasts are ours, then we have to, you know, hurt other women so that they are subservient to men. And I see that a lot, a lot of internalized misogyny that women experience, um, which is just silly, Billy. So those are some of the things I see. Um, about why women shame other women for breastfeeding, you know, particularly in public, but uh, I hear horrible stories about even in their own home when relatives come over. It's horrible. And that's negative. So I would like to bring this video up to something cheerier, which is how do we deal with that? How do we make things better instead of just going, oh, it sucks, man, why? <laughs> we do it by action. We do it through what our lives are. Um, we teach our children that breastfeeding is completely normal and healthy and wonderful and that one of the things we're teaching our children by doing full term natural weaning extended breastfeeding there's a bazillion terms for it um, and by breastfeeding in public and breastfeeding around relatives and friends is that we are teaching our children through first-hand accountability that women's bodies mama's body is hers and hers to feed her child hers to dress the way she likes hers to whoop, excuse me, my love, utilize the way she wants to, which is natural. Breastfeeding is very natural. Um, and one of the most powerful things we can do for our children is to set a big example, set a good example by doing. Not just saying, women's bodies shouldn't be objectified. Don't assault women. It's by every step that we take during their childhood, they watch and they will mimic in their adulthood. And it's very powerful. So first thing you can do, just get out there and keep on boobing as the memes all say. Keep on boobing, keep on breastfeeding, and don't give in to shame. Because you know what? Every mama that is out there breastfeeding their children, you are changing the world. You are feeding your child beautiful, wonderful, nutritious ingredients. You are giving them antibodies. You are f helping them fight really chronic, big issues of diseases in the society. You're helping them be more comforted and relaxed, you are helping them be less stressed, and you are helping them be more independent when they get older. Oh yeah, and that's just what you're doing for your child. You're also helping shape other people's views, which is really powerful. So go out there and breastfeed. Another thing you can do uh, in my breastfeeding guide that I have linked down in the description box, I also go over a lot of the, um, the ways you can come back and tell Ooh. people easy phrases to remember that will help you combat when people aren't being supportive, when people are being negative, or people are saying rude things to you. It's just easy phrases, and they're all, they're all in there. Um, so having good, pithy comebacks 
They don't make you rageful, they don't make you tense up, that are just like, uh-huh. You know, one of my favorites is, oh, is that child too old to breastfeed? Oh, aren't you a little old to be so rude? Um, and if you're breastfeeding a young child and they're like, oh, cover up, you know, my husband's looking, I'll be like, oh. He has natural ability. This is awesome. God made us with the natural breastfeeding cover. Our eyelids. You just shut them. You're offended. That's what you can always tell them. Oh, you're offended? Your husband's offended. Your husband can't look away. Oh. He should use his breastfeeding covers. It works. Be sassy. Stand up for yourself. Because guess what? That changes the world. One person's view at a time. It really does. It's so valuable. And it's so much fun to get to breastfeed your monkey and cuddle them and have this time of bonding because boy, it goes by fast. It does, you know. I'm breastfeeding a three-year-old and it has just blown by so much faster than I would think possible. Hey, guess who I know? It's you, in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I want to talk about this. October is Oh yeah, a lot of breast cancer awareness, breast awareness, and I want people to also be aware of just breast awareness of how are you objectifying yourself? How are you objectifying others when you make people uncomfortable to breastfeed? How are you hurting children by making it really hard for mothers to breastfeed? Oh yeah, we can all do our little part that makes things better, right? That's such a big part of what this channel is about is little steps to a better home life and a better life in general of just being happier and being kinder. It has such value. Good enough, you kiddo. Mm -hmm. You little bumperkin. And there is a beauty to realizing that your body is yours and no one else's. And if you choose to breastfeed and it works for you and your family and your child, that that is wonderful. And, you know, modern medicine backs you up. Modern child psychology backs you up. Everything does other than grumpy pants that don't seem to understand what the deal is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're backed up. I've got your back. Pretty much all science backs you up. And I would say probably anthropology backs you up too, because you know what? The average natural weaning age, according to anthropological studies, between six and eight. So don't worry if you're breastfeeding your year old. <gasps> Shaka scandalous. Oh my goodness. You're doing really good. I'm proud of you, mamas. And I'm proud of you dads out there that are supportive and good and know that you're setting an example for your sons and your daughters and how they will grow up in a world that is kinder and more loving to both men and women. Hey, until next time, check out my books in the description links, also to my blog and Instagram. I will see you all over. I love you all so much. And thank you all so much for the support on my breastfeeding and Gentle Parenting Guide, Milkosaurus on Amazon. Um, I've seen sales go up recently and I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, until next time, love your family and love yourself because that's the most powerful thing you can do in life.